Jolly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so it's been a while. We've been on school holidays, and even though it still is school holidays at the moment, um, my little one's with Grandma. She's spending the day having quality time with her grandma. Um, in the beginning of this one, I wanted to apologize for the last set of videos because <laughs> for a very long time, I couldn't wear makeup. I've got really sensitive skin. And so what would happen is I, whatever I put on my face, it would just come out really red and really like a bright red, like the, whatever I put on felt like it was burning my skin. So for a very long time, I haven't been able to use anything, um, any kind of makeup and foundations and things like that was just a no go. And I found one, you know, um, before I started the videos because I made my first couple of videos and I just looked so pale on, on the screen and I didn't want people focusing on the wrong thing, you know, like of how I look or how I don't look because that's not what these videos are for. I'm here for you, you know, to help you along your journey. So I've done everything I can to keep it simple and for you to have less things to focus on that take you away from you so <laughs> but the last few videos that i made there's a set of them there's probably about eight of them and you'll notice that i'm like this darker orange color and what's happened is i didn't realize because it's been such a long time with the foundations it does say on the bottle that you've got to shake them and i haven't been doing that and i've been wearing this one for like the past three months and of course as you can see in the bottle <laughs> It's gone a really dark color because I haven't bothered to shake it. So all the tint must have dropped to the bottom Anyway, I've got a new one now. So I bought a new foundation That's a couple of shades lighter because I just found that was too dark for me And I just didn't want that to take you away from what these videos are really about Okay, because they're not about me. It's about us discovering what life is about together, you know why we're here what the purpose is why you're here at the moment listening to this video so uh you know today i was going to work during the day i work with the elderly and i take care of them in their own homes and for me it's been a real adventure it's been so wonderful i feel uh, that i'm of service it makes me feel good about who i am when i'm with them when i'm taking care of them but for some reason this morning as i'm driving along I just had this moment reflecting back to my childhood, you know, and I just started crying because I just felt so grateful, you know, that in my childhood I had my cousins, you know, because some people grow up and they don't have anything, you know, they, they have parents that don't know how to express love to them or they just don't have it to give, right? they just don't have that love to give. So these children grow up not knowing what love is. But I was fortunate enough, if you haven't read my story of, you know, in your past is a gift is my actual story. I've used my own life as an example for you. And, you know, growing up, I had a group of cousins. They're all from my dad's side because my dad's got so many brothers and sisters. But we brought three of them to Australia. My parents filled out all the paperwork and, you know, they vouched for them, you know, that the government would let his brothers come. So I had three uncles that came and three brothers on my dad's side. And so I had all these cousins as I was growing up around the age of four or five, they all started to slowly appear into my life. And what was wonderful was that we had so much in common. You know, we were all of parents that were in a country where they didn't know how to speak the language. You know, um, they're all struggling with that, that being able to be understood when they were out in the world because, you know, it wasn't their native tongue, this, this language, this English language that we use here in Australia. And so, you know, they struggled with all of that, the, all those frustrations, you know. Our parents, of course, because they were all brothers my, on my dad's side, they, were, they all had a very poor childhood. And so, you know, they all came for the same thing to Australia. They all came thinking that getting ahead in life and making all this money and having a house and having the car and having all this material stuff was what was going to make them happy because they wanted for so much when they were children and they just they were so poor that they couldn't have uh, even to the point where some days they went without food you know and some winters they didn't have enough clothes to keep them warm so you know we're talking about poor poor really poor third world country poor 
So to them, in their mind, they thought that coming out here, they would be able to provide us, their children, with everything. You know, with the house, with the car, with the clothes, with the food that we would never have to go without. And yes, that you know, that's what they gave us. We never went without. Not a day. Not me and not any of my cousins. But in this video, I, I really wanted to give thanks, you know, that I had them in my life because we were all the same. We were all going through the same, you know, with our parents struggling in a new country, trying to learn a language they didn't know, trying to fit in wherever they could, you know, to make a living. And we were all the same, like the group of cousins that I, that we kind of merged together, we all had younger siblings. And so we were going through exactly the same in our lives, everything we felt, you know, like when I felt displaced or discarded, if you will, you know, I was tossed aside when my, when I was five and my sister was born. And so, you know, we were all going through that feeling of feeling discarded when our siblings were born because we all seemed to go through the same. All the parents, all the mums did the same thing. You know, the only thing that was different was that with my other cousins, they were made responsible for the younger ones. If anything happened to them, if they got hurt or anything, they would get in trouble. You know, that was the only thing that my mum didn't do with me. My sister was her responsibility. She was never put on me as a responsibility. You know, I was never made responsible for her well-being or her safety or anything. So that was about the only thing that differed between me and my cousins. But I know for a fact that having them, and we'd see each other every weekend, every Saturday or every Sunday, at least once a week, we would all catch up and we would all be together for the whole day. And I know that that's all you need, you know, to have people around you that are similar, that have gone through the same, that understand exactly what you're feeling. They understand exactly what you're going through because they're going through the same. And that you can give each other your love unconditionally, not expecting anything back because it just feels so good to give it. You know, so I know I've, I've, there's quite a few videos I've put out and I have told you many, many times, look for others, you know, look for others that have been through the same, that are going through the same. There's a reason you've gone through that. And it's so that you can relate on a deeper level. You know, I went through the IVF as well. So, you know, mums that have had their children naturally, they can't relate to that. They don't know what you go through when you've spent year after year not being able to fall pregnant. You know, if you've fallen pregnant naturally and you've got your children and your life is on a different track, you know, you're, you're having different experiences to a person that cannot conceive naturally. And even then, you know, I've spoken to so many mums that haven't been able, even with the IVF, have not been able to conceive at all. And so they're on another level altogether, I, you know, where I just cannot understand what that must feel like. You know, there's the heartbreak of going year after year and not being able to fall pregnant and that never happening at all. Because for me, I never lost that hope, that dream that one day I would hold my own baby. I never lost that. I held on to that to the very, very end until she was here. I always imagined that she would be here one day and that she would be a girl, you know? So you need to look for others that are the same, that are going through similar experiences and that you can really relate to on a deeper level. You can connect and you can give each other your love because of that experience there will be that deeper connection than what someone else outside. They can sympathize with it, they can empathize with it, they can do anything, all these things, you know, to make that person feel that they understand. But you can never ever fully understand until you've been through that experience yourself. That's what we're here for, to have all these wonderful experiences and to know for yourself what that feels like. 
So we'll talk more about this in the next video because I just had a moment this morning after that, you know, the tears running and the gratitude and my heart just felt like it was going to explode this morning. And I just, there was so much I wanted to share with you. But let's start with that, you know, looking for others that you can connect with on a deeper level. Right, my darling? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.